Mitosis can be complicated, but if we can take it part by part, it becomes a simple, understandable process. There are four main parts of mitosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. We remember these with the anagram, PMAP. Although there are four steps of mitosis, there is an interphase before mitosis and a process known as cytokinesis, which occurs after. I like to remember these by relating interphase to the word initial and cytokinesis to completion. So before we begin, try to remember interphase or initial for the beginning, then PMAP for prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, and finally cytokinesis and completion. Let's start with interphase. Interphase is basically like a preparatory phase. Just as an athlete has to practice and prepare for a game, or a musician has to rehearse for a concert, a cell must prepare itself for mitosis. To do this, the chromosomes replicate. At the end of interphase, the long linear strand is a pair of identical strands held together in the center. If interphase is complete, mitosis can begin. Here's where PMAT comes in. Prophase takes place of the P. During this beginning step of mitosis, the nuclear membrane breaks down. Let's think of a sports team again. Just before the game begins, the team huddles up. They're all together in a circle preparing themselves for the big game. Imagine the outside of this circle as the nuclear membrane. Now the beginning whistle sounds and the nuclear membrane must break down for the process of the game to begin. In the cell, once this occurs, the sister chromatids condense and spindles form. Next, metaphase occurs. In metaphase, the sister chromatids line up in the center of the cell. This part of the process can be easier to remember if you relate metaphase to middle, referring to the middle of the cell. Comparing this to sports once again, metaphase is much like any game of soccer, hockey, or basketball. Just as the sister chromatids line up in the center of the cell, the players of these sports line up at the center of the field, ice arena, or court. The next part of PMAT is A, which stands for anaphase. Once the cells are lined up in the center in metaphase, anaphase follows. During anaphase, the sister chromatid pairs are pulled apart by the spindle fibers, which were formed in prophase. Since spindle fibers can be defined as threads, let's compare them to the goals of sports. Just as teams go to opposite ends of the court to score baskets or goals in different nets, sister chromatids go to separate poles of the cell. Imagine the nets as being these spindle fibers or threads, which are pulling the athletes to opposite ends of the playing field. The final step of our anagram PMAT is T, representing the step known as telophase. In telophase, the chromosomes start to unwind and the nuclear membrane forms around them. In other terms, daughter cells are beginning to form. We can compare this step to all the participants of this sporting event. Let's envision a basketball game. Players are running up and down the court. Baskets are being made and coaches are yelling from each side. A timeout is called. Now we have the separate teams in their own huddles, which we compared earlier to the nuclear membrane. Two separate huddles are being formed as the players uncoil themselves from the court. Telophase is much like this timeout. The athletes disperse and separate off the court just as the chromosomes uncoil and two separate huddles are congregated just as two separate nuclear membranes begin to form to become daughter cells. PMAT has completed, which means cytokinesis follows to complete the process. In cytokinesis, cytoplasm and organelles duplicate and are divided into two equal parts. Here, the cell is finally split into two. So, we are at the end of our sporting event. The teams are finally into their separate locker rooms. They are packing up their equipment, and next, they will once again be preparing for the next big game. The cycle starts all over once again. All in all, mitosis can seem really difficult to understand. Just remember, the process initially starts with interphase, then goes through PMAT, and finally completes with cytokinesis. Easy as shooting a basketball into a hoop or scoring a goal.